So today we're gonna be reviewing how to do the practice tool because I feel like it's better to show a visual example rather than a non like it just text based because it's, it's I agree it's kind of weird. So the first thing you want to do uh, when using the SE2 practice tool, it's obviously have the ISO for SE2 uh, SE2 plus. Uh, it's 9.1 or greater 9. Point, because we added in 9.1, so we're currently on 9.5. Uh, 0.9.5.2 so um, just keep that in mind uh, and then the second thing you want to do is you want to have your second player controller on dolphin to just be a standard controller, or just something to where the game picks it up I would put like standard controller you don't need to bind it you don't need to do anything it won't affect the game besides allowing you to go into verses but you can't really move player two because you didn't buy any buttons so I mean there's that but that's not what the point is the point is to get to this and you want this and a lot of people are like oh well you, you kind of do because um i think you can you, i think you can get her yeah but this is the way i do it at least and it's, it's no big deal um and then another thing to keep in mind is that you probably want it on the default controls uh because you're gonna have to set whatever your second player is set to is what it will play back so if it's anything different from what you have so if i did it on this and i did like a say an a move uh it would just be spamming guard all over and over because you know they tried to do abb1 it would be just like um yeah like literally K, uh, kkb yeah that that doesn't exist so you just have to have it set to where like it'll play back the same inputs that you made uh because it's the exact same button so just keep that in mind um, if you want to uh, go forward and back in the menu, you do square or X on um, on pad, whatever control you have, whatever you have for bound for X. This is why like you kind of don't want to mess with these settings for like changing the settings inside the game, so you don't ever have to change it in the game because uh, you'll start getting like you're gonna have to find out where your X is because you don't, and so you're gonna have to find it because X is go back. Uh, try, um, y is to go forward and then square or triangle is to also this is respective inputs so if you want to record something and then let me just go through the little menus just real quick the only ones that work is player audio and practice game and uh, miscellaneous don't really work right now because there's not anything in them they're just placeholders so if I wanted to do it I could actually change the uh, music so let's do you know right You can just change the music as much as you want. You can also change this. If I go back, then it's it shows the animations and exactly what are your position is on the map. I'm hoping that we can look into it a little bit more deeper. But right now, we also have... So the main thing you want is uh, record you play record say if we're practicing against uh sophie stab you click triangle to accept and you can go you can go left and right by the way uh to select the little option the mini options um and then you go like this and it'll start immediately after you go through the recording so once you hit record and you get out of this menu it's going to immediately start recording and then that's it and then you press start to stop the recording and you're you're finished now if we go to play loop is for play so just keep that in mind um and you go to like play and then loop on and i'll just spam it over and over now i can we find out exactly Right. We can find exactly what we need. Exactly, and it'll it'll keep swinging. The thing, the downsides of this though is that it, uh, since it is on, since it is uh, doing a recording like that or a playback, uh, if you do anything back turned, it gets really wonky. Uh, so you have because if it starts facing forward like say you're trying to do a back turn move right and if it starts facing forward it'll do the forward move 
and if you try to do a forward move and then it's a swap side like somehow swap sides then it will like if i just swap sides like this and it will just put me back turned like that then you have to be aware of that and that it will just start doing back turn moves and then it'll get decent like the whole thing will get desynced and you just what you do reset position there you go and it's fixed um so it's it's a great way to practice um certain scenarios for your characters specifically block punishing um what i found is specifically like say like assassin three uh a three aa uh three aab uh if you just block it if you have any wall rising move that like say like taki's wall rising k you get your your full damage combo right and you can change your and also when you're done with recording you can just change it back to whatever you had um obviously right so you don't you don't need to hold on to it that's pretty much the end of the recording um like you know for every all sakes and purposes i just want people to know how to use it uh particularly with the practice tool it's a really it's it, it, at first i was confused but now it's kind of easy again to reiterate you just press triangle to record and you can actually and you have to press it again uh like you go to back to nothing to stop it or like if you don't want that option or play nothing right yeah because you press that so and you move left to right to get through these menus um and then loop on i keep loop on because i like it looping but if you just want like a one cycle i can show you exactly right and then if we do it again see how it does that you know it's just like it freaks out and it doesn't know it. if i do it like this it just turns around and it'll do it all like that just keep that in mind whenever you're doing that um you can practice pretty much anything there's not really a limit it's just like depending on how complicated the input is um and like what you do afterwards i would just go for a one loop and it won't desync uh if it's like say if i was doing uh breaking a or just getting out of a you could practice the wall landing a combo right and then you do this uh you could practice that and practice air control like have taki do it and then um try to air control out of it and see if you can actually air control so this is really like the practice tool is really good for people who want to just solo practice instead of like actually like get sit down with someone and have them learn your little tech but now you can just practice by yourself and you don't have to worry about anyone learning your shit ever again so um and it's a great way to actually get better at the game just by yourself if you're just not busy for sure um well that's this tutorial i hope you guys enjoy se2 plus i've been having a lot of fun with it and i hope you guys do too